Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of ColourPop, mainly focusing on the new Sailor Moon collection. I didn't purchase everything from the collection, but I did manage to get my hands on the eyeshadow palette and both of the lip bundles. I'm really upset about not being able to get the blushes, but <laughs> I'm still gonna make this video with what I was able to get. Since I don't have the whole collection, I just figured I would do it kind of get ready with me style using only ColourPop products and just kind of talking about some products that I've been using lately from the brand so also giving you a little extra on that front so if you want to see how I got this look and my thoughts on a lot of different color pop products then just keep watching I just want to preface this by warning you that this video is kind of a hot mess and editing me ain't happy about it so you guys know who comes out when I'm mad at filming me so as I was pulling out all of my ColourPop stuff, I noticed I do have a lot from ColourPop, but I have a lot of the items that I like. And you know that ColourPop has such a broad range of different types of products. So I realized I didn't have enough for a full face. So like I don't have their eyelashes, I don't have a primer from them, I don't have a setting spray from them. So that made me realize that next time ColourPop has a big sale, I'm gonna have to order a lot of stuff so I can do a full, full face of ColourPop. But I'm gonna work with what I have and just tell you about the products that I've been using, the products that I've been loving. I'm gonna put a timestamp down below if all you're interested in is the actual Sailor Moon collection. So if you're not interested in me playing with all of the other ColourPop stuff, then you can just click to that. But I'm gonna start off by using the No Filter Stick foundation. I don't love this foundation. Upon initial application, I actually do like this foundation, but I don't think it wears very well. And I'm going to mix that with a little bit of the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I'm going to use Light 7W. I don't mind this tinted moisturizer. I will wear it when I'm just going out and running errands. I think it's fine for that. Just be aware though, it's a tinted moisturizer, so there's not much coverage to it. I prefer my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer to the ColourPop. I'm not a huge fan of the ColourPop complexion like base products. I do think that this tinted moisturizer, it's decent, it gets the job done, and it's really great for super light natural makeup days, but I'm not in love with it like I'm in love with my Laura Mercier. I just chose to mix the stick foundation and the tinted moisturizer because I wanted more coverage from this, but I do like the finish on the skin that this has, so I wanted more coverage and that also helps this blend easier. Not that this is hard to blend because it's not, it actually blends very well, but I just need to interject again. The fact that I am filming crooked this entire video, if you egged it off for that reason, I understand because it's driving me nuts. This is my first time mixing both of them and I actually am thoroughly enjoying the finish. Wow, okay, so I feel like these really complement each other very well. Like for what I prefer for my skin type is like a light medium foundation with a little bit of a glow that really did achieve that. Okay, so very impressed with that. Now, typically what I do is my eyebrows next. So I'm using the Brow Boss in the shade Brunette. I really do enjoy this eyebrow pencil. I've used it before plenty of times on camera. So right now my current technique for filling in my eyebrows, it's sparse right here. I have this random bald area on my eyebrow. So I kind of draw that in and I create just a little bit of a higher arch right here. And then I'll just do random strokes. I've been definitely having more natural brows recently. Then I extend the tail of my brow and then since my eyebrows are not freshly done, I'm just gonna draw a line right at the bottom just to define that more. I've been keeping my eyebrows very simple recently. That's kind of been my favorite way to do them. This is a fine eyebrow pencil. It's not my favorite, but it gets the job done. So I have no complaints with this. Um, and then this Brow Boss Gel in light brown is one of my all-time favorite eyebrow gels. If you can hear a dog barking in the background, that's my dog being obnoxious. But I love this brow gel. This is one of my favorites of all my brow gels. It really thickens the eyebrows, I feel. Definitely get it in a shade, not just the clear, because the clear kind of leaves a white cast over the eyebrows. So like I get light brown and there is no white cast. Okay, and so that's how our eyebrows are looking right now. And now let's move on to a concealer. I'm gonna use the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer and I'm gonna mix 
just a little bit of the no filter concealer because this is just a tad too dark. I have gotten questions as to how I'm liking the Hyaluronic concealer and I do really like it. It's not one of my favorite concealers of all time, but it is definitely a nice refreshing hydrating concealer for the under eyes. I don't have anything bad to say, but I do also really like just their regular no filter concealer. This is definitely more matte, but I do like both of their concealer formulas. They're pretty good. You get a little bit more coverage from the original no filter, but I do think blending them together, again, just like with our base products, kind of the best of both worlds. And I really like how that no filter concealer really just brightened everything as well because it has so much more coverage, but the hyaluronic acid one kind of kept my under eyes moisturized. And for the under eyes to set, I'm gonna use the no filter setting powder. I'm not crazy about this powder. I do find it to be a bit drying under the eyes. For the sake of the video though, to stay on theme, we will use it. Just using my sponge to press that in. Press it into the nose because foundation slips a lot in that area. Gotta admit, my base right now is looking quite flawless. I really like it. It's still looking natural. It looks really good. Huh. I don't think I've ever been so happy with a base using all ColourPop complexion products. Wow. All right, so let's move on to the good stuff. We're gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette. And yes, I had to pick up the Sailor Moon collection from ColourPop. Now, I put my mom in a very stressful situation because this release while I was working and my mom had to order it for me. And I, of course, I grew up watching Sailor Moon. So this collection spoke to me, spoke to my childhood. I was like, mom, can you just order the bundle for me? ColourPop doesn't really sell out super fast. It should be a relaxing transaction. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. My mom put the bundle in and then <laughs> it sold out so fast. And she was like, I am never going to order anything for you again. And I was like, Jeffree Star and Pat McGrath release tomorrow. So like, can you just backtrack that one more day? But yeah, it was a very stressful situation for her. The bundle sold out. I did not get the bundle. Sorry, mom. I told my mom, you know what? Then just forget those glitters. I didn't really want them. I have no use for those weird body glitters anyways. They didn't excite me. I probably could have used them like a few years ago when I was in college in a sorority for those dumb sorority events. But yeah, I had no use for that. So I was like, just get the lip stuff, the blushes, and the eyeshadow palette. And they sold out of the blushes. And it's not that big of a deal. But I was very upset. And I know it's not that big of a deal, but those blushes are so cute. I'm so mad they sold out. <sighs> Am I being dramatic right now? No. I really wanted those blushes. And I know a lot of you didn't get your hands on the blushes either. So when those restock, I will definitely be purchasing them. But I did get the lip stuff and I did get the eyeshadow palette. And the eyeshadow palette, I mean, this packaging, like, is incredible. There was no way I wasn't going to get my hands on this collection. And I don't even care what the inside looks like because the outside just does it for me. It brings me as much happiness as I need. But I will say like on the inside online from what I saw, I wasn't too in love with the colors in here. But now that I have it in person, it actually is a lot prettier than I thought it would be. Now this palette does not have a lot of depth. I don't know if they're channeling like that Korean, Asian kind of makeup where there's not depth. It's just a lot of pastel colors or what. But actually like having this palette in person in my hands and seeing it, it is so much prettier than it looked online because I really wasn't in love with the palette online. I'm not going to do like a super intricate look. Did you guys see Nikki Tutorial's look using like this whole collection? It was incredible. I'm not Nikki Tutorial's. I'm not going to do that. Hmm. Do we want to go pinky, purple? Go warm today. So we're going to start off with Twilight Flash. Let's see how this applies. This is going to be the transition. Very nice sheer transition shade. I have to admit, just kind of looking at these shades, I don't think my folks with a deeper complexion are gonna be able to really make this palette work. Unfortunately, I'm sure Shum's shades will show up just fine, but just as a whole, I think that this has the potential to come up a bit ashy. Now we're gonna take a little bit of Justice, the yellow. This is a pretty sheer yellow. I'm just using the same brush for all of this. Ah, actually this yellow is not bad. It's kind of transitioning very smoothly. I feel like I'm doing the same look that everybody's done. So now I'm just going to kind of go down the row of these three just along my crease. So tuxedo rose, 
Ooh, oh, that's really pigmented. That's more pigmented than I thought it would be. Wow, that's really bright. I feel like these are Sailor Moon colors. Wow, Morgan, how very observant of you to notice that. You know, everybody's done their review on this collection already. It's gotten so much hype, which I'm so excited about. Can't not love Sailor Moon, you know? Wow, Tuxedo Rose had a lot. A lot of fallout. Oh, so does love. So we are getting some kickback in the pan. Nothing to be alarmed about. That's okay because this palette actually has a lot more pigmentation than I thought it would. I was watching a couple other people's reviews and it just seemed like sheer. This don't look that sheer to me. These are actually a lot brighter than they look. Okay, we're gonna blend all of that. I mean, still not a lot of depth to the palette, but pigmentation is there. Hmm, what lid colors? So I want to put silver crystal all over my lid because it looks gorgeous. But this shade looks like there's a lot of glitter to it. Lots of loose glitter in that shade that I don't know that I like that. Yeah, so this shade seems to be like a metallic foil shade, but it has a lot of chunky loose glitter that I feel like might just fall all over your face. Silver Momentum is a super shot shadow. Is Silver Crystal? No, that's a powder. So what I think we are going to do is I'm going to start off just for the sake of kind of reviewing this, even though this isn't too much of a review, I'm gonna press that weird glitter shade on the outer half of my eyelid. Is this eye safe? Not intended for use in the immediate eye area. <sighs> yeah, so this shade would be fine all over the lid. It's still, like I said, kind of a lot of loose, chunky glitter in this. Not much of a pigmented base. So that's what you're getting with that shade. I'm gonna put silver crystal which is like a really icy gold peach and i'm gonna put this everywhere it's definitely a lot icier on the eyelid i'm gonna put that even right on top that first shade we used i don't like that shade i feel like that shade messed up the eye look and i knew it would i did it anyways so this shade is more so about the finish on the eyelid it's not super pigmented like it's not covering the eyelid i can see my lid underneath but it is really pretty i'm like out of breath right now why am i out of breath see now i have glitter all over my face this palette i like it but i don't love it and on the lower lash line i'm gonna start off with that yellow shade justice and then we're going to match the top to the bottom so i'm gonna run these two colors right over top and then finally, we're going to take a little bit of Silver Millennium, which is that super shock shade. So be careful with the brushes that you use because it's not really going to pick up because it is that putty formula. So I would say use a synthetic brush, but if you're going to apply it all over the lid and not in a direct area, you're going to need to use your finger. That's just the nature of that formula. And it seems like extra super putty in this palette. Well, overall thoughts on this palette, I think it's okay. I liked the mattes. They are very powdery, but they did show up quite vibrant on my eyelids. I'm not super crazy about all of the shimmers that we have in here. I think this shade right here is not good. Got glitter all over. The glitter was like not embedded into the formula. Like it was just loosely in there. Obviously haven't played with this one or this one yet, but I like the putty shade right here. And I think this shade was also very pretty. For the most part, I do like this palette. It's not the best palette in the entire world, but it is very pretty. And you do get a really fun pastel springy look with this palette. I think I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. It's not my favorite palette formulation and color-wise from ColourPop, but it's cute. But definitely simply because of the packaging, I do think it's worth it still. To keep everything Sailor Mooney, I'm gonna take the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner in Sub-Zero. This is just a yellow gel eyeliner that's going in the waterline. I love to buy these colorful eyeliners from ColourPop because they're not colors that I'm gonna wear all the time, so I don't wanna spend too much money. So I did buy a pack of a bunch of these in different fun colors for this purpose. <gasps> My lips are looking so dry. Hold on. Can somebody please remind me to check my lips every time I film? Because they are crusty every time I film. Like, every time. Now, I just threw away my ColourPop BFF 
black mascara. I only have it in brown and I don't want to use brown so I'm going to use a random mascara. Honestly, I'm not really too crazy about the ColourPop mascara anyways. I think it is a bit flaky and it just doesn't build on my lashes like I like. I'm going to use my own mascara and my own false eyelashes because I don't own any false eyelashes from ColourPop but I need to purchase at least one pair for times like these. So I'm going to go off camera do that and we'll be back to do the face makeup. So eyelashes are all good. Ugh. Now I love this look. Lashes always make me love a look. So we're gonna move on to bronzer. Now the bronzer that I've been using a lot from ColourPop lately is Opening Act. It's a little bit more soft. I've also been using Coconut Beach. I really like the tone of this a lot, but it's super powdery. For some reason, that particular bronzer is really powdery. This one is not. This one is less messy, so I'm going to use Opening Act. As you can see, like, it's very, very soft. I don't want to go too bronzy today because that's not the whole aesthetic of this makeup, but just a little bit just to add some shadow to my face. And for blush, I'm going to use My Sun and Stars. This is from the Kathleen Lights collaboration. I think it'll go really well with the eyes since I don't have the blushes from the collection. One day I will. The second those blushes restock, I am getting them. I kind of just managed to make myself look like a clown. That blush was more pigmented than I was anticipating. It's an easy fix. Just take your sponge that you used to blend out your foundation, kind of tamper that down a little bit. All is good again. And actually that blush goes really good with the eyeshadows in this collection. Oh, I'm happy I did that. For highlight, I'm going to go with the Fire Super Shock Cheek. This is like a really pretty gold that I think is going to go good with the eyelid. This also is another Kathleen Lights collaboration. I love her collaborations with ColourPop. I think she picks such good colors. I love Super Shock shadows. I find for me that the best way to apply them is with a sponge because it really pushes it into the skin. It doesn't get weird over powders when you apply it that way. And I just think it really looks like it's one with the skin when you use a sponge to apply the Super Shocks. And I love the finish of the Super Shocks on the cheeks. I don't have a ton of highlighters from ColourPop because I'm just so satisfied with the Super Shocks that I do have. And oh my goodness, so pretty. So now we're ready to move on to the lips. I bought both of the lip bundles from the collection. We have the Daylight and the Moonlight. Honestly, I have not looked too hard at these products. So let's see. So first of all, loving the packaging with the moon on the lid. So we have, this again is Daylight. So this is the Ultra Blotted Lip. I only have one of their Ultra Blotted Lips. And this is Usagi. And then we have an Ultra Glossy Lip in Moon Tiara. I like their glosses. They aren't my favorite. I like the glosses in a tube from them better. Ooh, I hate the wand on this. This is like really stiff. It's pretty much like a clear peach gloss. And then let's open up the Moonlight Lip Bundle, which looks like this quite bright lip colors. So this is an ultra blotted lip in bun head, which is a little bit more pink compared to the other one. And then an ultra glossy lip in Sailor Moon, which this one has a bit more color to it. So these are what we're working with. So these top two are the daylight and these bottom two are the moonlight. Let's just go bright. I'm gonna use the daylight ultra blotted lip in Usagi. I know my lips are so crusty. I'm sorry I went the whole video with crusty lips. Ooh, you really need to like exfoliate your lips before you use these ultra blotted lips. So that's showing like every flake on my face. I think for this collection, I would have just gone with an ultra satin lip just because it's quite a colorful collection. There's no need for it to be blotted. But I mean, even though this is a blotted lip color, it definitely added a really cool pop to my face. So I'm going to use Moon Tiara on top to maybe hide the flakes in my lips. This has like a sweet scent to it. I don't really feel like these lip products go together. I know they're in a bundle, but I feel like it's an odd pairing. You know, like both of them, they don't really go. The lip gloss on top, my lips look less 
flaky and gross. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to kind of zhuzh myself up and I will be back for the outro. All right, so here is the final look with a full face of ColourPop focusing on the new Sailor Moon collection. I hope you guys like it so far. It's really crazy the kind of look you can create with ColourPop products. Like it looks like you used high end products that you spent a lot more money on, but everything on my face is really affordable. Even my base looks really great today. And overall, my thoughts on the Sailor Moon collection from the items that I do have, definitely they're more so collector pieces if you ask me. I think nothing really super stands out as far as the quality goes. I think the palette is really fun. I think it's a really great palette for spring. It's a $20 palette and I would definitely say it is worth $20. The quality is a little bit more higher end but there are some shades in there that I don't like and I think it could be improved formulation wise but I do think it's a fun pickup for spring if we're talking the colors. As far as the lip bundles go, <laughs> If they weren't Sailor Moon, I would say pass on these. So unless you're a real fan of Sailor Moon and really like the packaging, I don't really think you need it. I'm not a huge fan of the ultra blotted lips. I think they chose really nice colors for the ultra blotted lips just because it really goes with the eyeshadow. But I would prefer like an ultra satin lip or one of their regular lipsticks. I do think the glosses are really pretty though. If you can buy them individually, I really like Sailor Moon. I think it's really cute with all of the glitter in it. They aren't super unique colors though and I feel like the bundles don't really make sense to me like the glosses really don't match the lip colors but anyways I don't think the lip bundles are all that but if Sailor Moon excites you and the packaging excites you I mean I don't regret picking these up. I still am very happy with them because they're so cute. I'm super happy that I purchased this collection. I think it's really fun. I think ColourPop did a great job. And that is all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed another ColourPop video from me. You guys know I love to do them periodically. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so. Make sure you like this video, thumbs up, make a nice comment. It really helps me out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.